Welcome to this tutorial on electronically submitting a no-cost extension NCE request for a grant through Erie Commons prior approval module. A no-cost extension is a request to extend the time of a project period and or budget period to complete the work of the grant under that period without seeking additional federal funds. A no-cost extension request can only be initiated and submitted by a signing official, SO. The request through the prior approval option can only be initiated under these criteria. The grant has previously had a new cost extension and less than 90 days remain before the project period end date. The grant has previously had a no cost extension and the grant is within 270 days after the project period end date has passed, but the grant has not been closed. The grant does not have an expanded authority and less than 90 days remain before the project period end date. The grant does not have an expanded authority and the grant is within 270 days after the project period end date has passed, but the grant has not been closed. A no-cost extension request cannot be initiated under these three circumstances. When you have never requested an NCE under expanded authority and you are within 90 days of the project end date. In this case, the NCE will be processed normally through the extension link in status. When the grant is closed, when the grant is a fellowship grant. Accessing the functionality starts with logging into ERA Commons. Once logged in, SOs need to navigate to the prior approval tab on the top navigation menu. The SO will see an option to initiate a request in the box to the left. The SO will have a box for existing prior approval requests under which the list my requests and search for request buttons will be available. List My Requests will display any requests that were initiated and are waiting for the SO to complete further processing or for approval so it can be submitted to NIH. SOs can search for any prior approval request through the Search for Request page. If the request has still not been submitted to NIH, users can modify and submit their request. And if the request has already been submitted to NIH, they can view the history of the request type and also view the request PDF submitted to NIH. To initiate a no-cost extension request, the SO will go to the Initiate a Prior Approval Request box. In the field for a request type, it will select No-Cost Extension Request and then click on the Go button. The system will generate a list of eligible grants for the no-cost extension. The results are displayed in a table showing the grant number, project title, contact PDPI name, and budget period end date. Because SOs manage all the applications and grants, they also have two text filter fields at the top of the screen they can use to narrow the results even further. Once the grant is found, the SO will click on the radio button to the far left to select the grant. Once that is done, the Initiate No Cost Extension Request button becomes active. Clicking the button starts the request. This will open the Prior Approval Request No Cost Extension form. The Application Information section will display the applicant's information like PDPI username, name of PDPI, grants management specialist details, program official details, the grant number, application title, institution name, budget period, and project period. In the Request Details section, it will display the request ID, a system generated ID number, the number of months the SO would like the project to be extended. The system will then automatically update the proposed budget period end date and the proposed project period end date fields. If there is any unobligated award money remaining, that amount is entered into the amount of unobligated balance field. The SO must also specify if the PI is to maintain measurable effort during the extended period by selecting either yes or no from the dropdown for the corresponding measurable effort field. For grants where human subjects or vertebrate animals are involved, the IRB or IACUC approval date will need to be completed. The SO can upload one PDF document for each of the following sections, progress report, budget document, and justification document. Each document cannot exceed 5 megabytes in size. The exact details of what will be needed in these uploaded files will be outlined by the awarding IC. To upload a file, 
Click the Upload button, navigate to the desired document, and select the document. When the upload is complete, you will see a green box appear above the Upload button to indicate a successful upload. The name of the file will be displayed below, along with the date it was uploaded. You can review the file by clicking on the View button, or remove the file by clicking on the Delete button. Hitting the Cancel button will bring you back to the prior approval screen after confirming that you agree to lose any unsaved data. If there is still more work to be done before submitting to the agency, the request can be saved as is by clicking the Save button. You will see a green confirmation message at the top of the screen when the save is complete. The SO can now submit the request to NIH by clicking the Submit button, which changes the status of the request to Submitted to Agency. Once the request has been submitted, a PDF document is generated based on the request submitted. This PDF document can be viewed in the Search for Request tab. A notification is sent to the SO, GMO, and PO of the grant when the no-cost extension request is submitted to NIH. This concludes this tutorial on electronically submitting a no-cost extension request for a grant through ERA Commons. A number of resources are available to you should you need assistance with this process. Screen help is available by clicking on the question mark on the prior approval screens. If you still have questions about submitting no-cost extension requests electronically, contact the ERA Service Desk. Thanks for watching.